Chose to dance in the American rhythm category because it contains their favorite dance, the mambo. Their distinctive style has been heavily influenced both by their Puerto Rican heritage and by New York City's nightclub dancing scene. There's a lot of things that get created right there on the social floor that Maria and I have brought into the competitive side, which is really interesting. Like a lot of, of turns and everything that I have personally created myself have been from like mess ups on the dance on the social dance floor. Dancing competitively is a whole different world, requiring a near flawless performance. On a competition dance floor, you're expected to look perfect. Your feet have to be perfect, your appearance has to be perfect. Um, the way that you walk on the floor, the way that you walk from dance to dance, has that's being noticed. Um, you're really put on the, on the plate and you're dissected. Um, from head to toe and from inside out. On a club situation, it's more about you relating to the music. It's the music in you and whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter whether your feet are turned in or turned out or whether your body's straight or not straight. You're just relating, you're just being, you're just living. So this is very exciting because today is a day where my partner is going to get rid of these boots that I can't stand. boots that I've been wearing for heaven knows how long. <laughs> I remember when there was a time when we first started, like three years ago, that um, we were told that we were too... Streety. Yeah, not that. What was it? No, I'm trying to think of the word. Um, authentic. We were too authentic. We were too authentic. Our dancing was too authentic. And I started cracking up. I'm going, wait a minute. Um, I can't believe that. I said, you know, this is what it is. I mean, it happens to be part of our culture. Dancing is part of our culture. Okay, if you buy those, I'll dance with you. Are you, Are you gonna buy them? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so then I'll dance with you. Yeah. I think that for us, being the only ethnic couple on the floor, we stand out anyway. I used to feel uncomfortable about it, but I don't anymore. I like being different. I like being the fact that people go, Who's that couple? Right. You know, who's the Puerto Rican couple in the corner? Not really. Where are they from? <laughs> you know, it's kind of cool. Angel, okay. say goodbye. Don't cry. Goodbye. Say good. Goodbye. Love you. Yeah, mean it. There you cool. go. Cool. God. The <laughs> feeling of dancing for me is because I feel it in my gut. It's in my heart. I've, I feel dancing from the floor up. Um, there's nothing better. It's inside. I have to move. Even if there's no music on, I move. I don't need the music to dance. You know, walking down the street to me is dancing. I watch people every day doing cha-cha, foxtrot, whatever, just getting out of each other's way. I love it. God gave me a gift to be able to, to move and to be able to express myself in a different way. And I have the pleasure of being able to cultivate that and to know that I can, uh, in life, I can do something that um, I, a lot of people wish they can do, is express themselves without even having to say a word. So for me, I think um, dancing is being able to be, and that's it. Your finalists for 1997 are presenting the Cha Cha, couple number 141, Angel Figueroa and Maria Torres. This is Angel Figueroa and Maria Torres of New York City. And you can definitely see the soul in their dancing. Right from the facial expressions to the steps and fancy footwork.